Hello there. At last, the government is going to take action to crack down on voter fraud. Now watch as the lefties wail. Firstly, as ever, please give that YouTube algorithm a kickstart by giving this video a like. Now the new Boris Johnson government is ready to push through laws to ensure that every vote is legitimate and that everybody's vote is really equal. And this of course has the lefties up in arms, saying that it will stop people voting and that voter fraud is somehow an imaginary problem. But it isn't imaginary. The BBC reports from Scotland that cases of personation, where someone pretends to be another person and votes as them, are already being reported after the 2019 general election. It says that Allegations of voting fraud were being investigated at a number of locations in Scotland as counting began in the 2019 UK general election. Renfrewshire Council said a possible case of personation had been reported to police in the Paisley and Renfrewshire North constituency. At the Glasgow count, three cases are also being looked at, while one is alleged in Stirling. And there were many cases of this being tweeted out on the day of the election across the country. And apart from saying it's a non-issue, the left is also saying that Boris is using this to try and rig the next election. How on earth can tightening up security around voting processes amount to vote rigging? How can it be vote rigging to ensure that only eligible voters can take part and that no one can cast more than one single vote? That surely improves the democratic process. And rightly or wrongly, people have the right not to vote. Yes, that's correct. They have the right to register to vote and then not to vote. And if they take that decision, then they have the right to expect that their vote cannot be used by anyone else because of an insecure democratic process. But the lefties are now squawking about the threat to democracy really being those so-called dark ads and dodgy donations, as well as fake news and disinformation. Don't look here, they're saying. Look over there. The Electoral Reform Society Director of Policy and Research, Jess Garland, said something I disagree with here. The government has no examples to justify this show your papers policy. There is simply no evidence of widespread impersonation. Simply put, ministers must think again and withdraw this dangerous proposal. My answer is that by not shutting down the possibility, it will become more widespread. A loophole has been identified, so let's shut it down. Democracy is important and is the only thing between a society and anarchy. People need papers to travel abroad, to drive, to fly, to have a bank account, to collect parcels from the post office, to get their utilities, to attend Labour Party conferences and vote in them. Oh yes, so why not for voting in our national democratic process then? And I've got a message for all those moaning lefties out there. It's not voter ID that will stop people voting. No, what stops people voting is when voting is seen as pointless because politicians are not listening or don't care what voters ask for. People will stop voting if voting is seen as valueless because anyone can turn up and take anyone else's vote without fear of getting caught and it's just considered a non-event, a non-crime. Without proper security, many people will have their votes stolen through lax postal voting systems, for example. People will start voting and believing that their vote is a valuable asset if, first, it is dealt with securely, and secondly, if politicians do as they are told and don't hide behind their party colours and do what they think is right just because they know better than what they see as the prole voters who put them there and pay their wages. People will start valuing democracy and their vote and use it when they see that democracy and their vote are securely protected and treated with true respect. Anyway, what do you think about voter ID? Please share and comment and thank you for watching. 
please do like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel. And when subscribing, please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. And thank you very much for watching.